to play the video first so you guys could see the video hear the video and kind of make up your own mind just in case anyone hadn't seen it I wanted you to hear it first before we dig into this and if this is your first time to my channel hi I'm Nikki free welcome don't forget to subscribe share like and comment okay so let's get right into it now I am not going to lie when I first heard this I did not hear the Rosa Parks uh, thing, you know, I, I, I didn't hear that bar because I was like quickly listening and I think I was doing other things and then I heard, I was like, oh, that sounds like a nice song, blah, 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 and I was done. And then I saw it just blowing up and everyone was up in arms. I'm like, oh my God, what happened, you know? So I had to go back and listen to it again. Now, this is what I want you guys to think about. There are a few things that we have to take into consideration. We have to take into consideration that we are in 2020. And first, let me just say, a lot of these people that are listening to Nicki Minaj are young, okay? And they are far removed from the Rosa Parks era. And a lot of them don't care and are not passionate about those topics. Now, I'm not saying that it's right. Because it's not right. Everyone should know their history and appreciate their history, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And also respect those who paved the way for you to be able to do the things that you're doing today. But that's that's a whole other video. You know, that's a whole other video. That's a whole other topic. But basically what I'm saying is take that into consideration. So you have those people. And then you have a lot of her fans are non black people you know she has a lot of fans all over the world who are not going to even give a damn about this and let's just keep it real you know and then you have the people who are old enough to know what's up and are like well wait a minute hold on you know and those people are thinking about the struggle and what our ancestors had to do and what the people who the black people who were before us, like who lived back in those days when black people were at the back of the bus, black people had virtually no rights, black people were treated unequally, which, I mean, this stuff is still going on today, but not on that level. So those people went through hell. I mean, hell, you know, died everything for us to have rights as black people. So of course, you know, people who really study black history, people who really know about the struggle of black people back then, not to mention the things that, you know, when you think about the things that black people are going through now, even it's a touchy subject, you know, and it gets people going, you know, it gets people up in arms. And that is why this is blowing up. OK, because you have one end saying, oh, it's not a big deal, whatever, because Everyone is not touched by it in the same way. And then you have the other side that's like pissed off. And then also, let me add into this equation, you also have the Nikki hate train that is going to jump on anything that is anti-Nikki because they want to keep the hate train going. So you have that going. And then you have the whole thing of perhaps Nikki should have just left Rosa out the whole rap altogether. But perhaps... Nikki too may not feel as attached to that movement. You know, I'm not speaking for her. I'm no Barb. I I'm not a person that is a Nicki Minaj stan. Listen, I like a few of her songs, and it's that's as far as it goes. As far as me being a fan or a stan of any 
artist, musical artist, the only artist that I am a fan of and that I've ever been a true fan of is Prince. That's it. You know, so I am just giving my unbiased, just chit chat opinion, whatever you want to call it. And I just want to also know how you guys feel. What do you guys think? Because I feel like this thing is kind of split down the middle. Some people feel like, oh, well, you know, she didn't mean anything by it. And some people are pissed, you know. But I want to play this other clip because what I'm trying to figure out is where are we today? Are we just really sensitive now? Because there was a time where people could say things like this and it wasn't as big of a deal either way. You know what I mean? Like we used to be less sensitive. So are we more sensitive or are we just more aware or as like some people like to say woke? Are we just more, are we seeing things that we didn't see before? I mean, what is it? What do you guys think? Now, let me go ahead and play this clip for you guys and I will be back. I want you guys to watch this clip and let me know what you think. Do you think that this clip is more triggering than what Nicki Minaj said or less triggering or equal? Let me know. Now, I probably wouldn't say this in front of white folks, but in front of y'all, I'm going to speak my mind. Rosa Parks ain't do nothing but sit her black ass down. Now, now, hold on, hold on, hold on, now, You might learn something right now. I'm going to give her a just do. I'm going to give her a just do for what she did, her act, led to the movement and everything. But, but, but she down, she ain't special. No, it was a whole lot of black folk sat down on bus and they got thrown in jail and they did it way for Rosa D. Oh, and they did it for yeah. Rosa yeah. All this difference between them and her is that she's secretary at the NAACP and she know Martin Luther King and, 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 and they got a lot of publicity. You know, that's the same way. It, to me, it sounds like you got a little haterism in your game. Well, I can't got no, no, this ain't no hateration or no holleration in this dance room, okay? <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that black people need to stop lying. Say something. Mm -hmm. There's three things that something. black people need to tell the truth about. What? One, yeah, yeah. one, Rodney King should have got an ad beat for driving drunk and being grown in a Hyundai. Oh, 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 oh. Two, OJ did it. Oh, OJ did it. Oh, and oh, and three, Rosa Parks ain't do nothing but sit her black ass down. That's, oh, that's, that's right. I'm going to back you up on that because, see, look, he was on the bus doing back in the day, mm -hmm. and he on the bus now. And it, not only is what you're saying not true, it is wrong and disrespectful for you to discuss Rosa Parks in that way. Exactly. Wait, 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 wait. Who on here? Is this the barbershop? Is this the barbershop? Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we can't talk straight in the barbershop. Then where can we talk straight? We can't talk straight nowhere else. You know, this ain't nothing but healthy conversation. Yeah, oh, right. I got to tell you, Rosa Parks got it. ain't nobody except in the barbershop. You know that ain't nobody yeah. except. You can talk about whoever and whatever, whenever you want to in the barbershop. No, 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 you gotta check this out like this, Eddie. You know you're wrong. Keep on walking. You're wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong about yourself this time, pal. I ain't with you. I'll take one thing. You better not never let Jesse Jackson mean you talking about that. Man, fuck Jesse Jackson. No! 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 You're a large, you're a large, you're a large. Randy, Tito, Freddy, action. I'll take him over there. Oh, 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 Okay, guys, so you just saw that barbershop clip. Very funny. And, yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like everybody talks about barbershop, that it's, like, the funniest movie and I remember some people making like some comments about it a little bit. It was so long ago. I'm not going to lie. I don't really remember like that. But I just don't remember it being like a whole big outrage. You know, I don't recall that. You know, I just don't. And if I'm if I'm wrong, guys, let me know in the comments. You know, I just don't remember. But it was a very, very long time ago. But anyway, as you can see, Cedric, the entertainer, his character called out a lot of black, you know, leaders or black people who made an impact on the black community from back in the day. So he called them out. He said Rosa Parks didn't do anything. He was talking about Jesse Jackson. You know, I'm just saying in general, he, um, you know, then I feel like people said, well, that's just entertainment. He's a comedian. 
you know, so whatever. He was just, you know, being funny. So they se separated the art from the artist. So I'm just curious to know, were we just more tolerant back then? Are we more sensitive now? Or is what Nicki Minaj said more offensive than what was said on Barbershop? I don't know. I'm just I'm just trying to like figure this all out. It's kind of like, you know, where are we today? Where are we going with this? You know, me personally, I think if Nikki were to let's say she were to take that part out the song, I think the song would still be good. You know, so I feel like if this gets to be too annoying or what have you and, you know, um, Rosa Parks. She did sue, I think it was Outkast, for their song with her name. So they're not playing, you know, like Rosa Parks. She's not alive, but, you know, I'm sure she has an estate. So I feel like if this is going to cause Nikki like, legal problems or any kind of issues, or if it's just going to be something that's more trouble than it's worth, I don't know. I feel like if she takes it out, it's not going to affect the song. That's all I'm saying. I think the song will still be good. I think the song will still do well with or without that verse, personally. I think she could also alter that verse if she wanted to, to make changes. Or she may just decide, you know what? Freedom of speech. I'm keeping it all in here. I don't care what you guys say. You know? But my thing is, what do you guys think? You know? Because you guys are the ones who most likely are going to go out and purchase perhaps Nicki Minaj's music. So what I'm speaking to is the people who are going to stream it no matter what. How do you guys feel? You know, do you think Nicki should just alter it? Do you think she should leave it on? What do you think? You know, it's certainly her choice. I, I'm wondering if Nicki's going to come out and address this. Is she going to come out and say, hey, that's not what I meant? Or, hey, I'm not changing anything. She she probably won't address it. I'm not sure. But um, what if this is not even like a song that she's going to put out? What if she was just in the studio messing around? You know, a lot is going on with this. But the song is getting a lot of hype. You know, the, the YouTube, um, I'm sorry, the Instagram post has gotten, I think, like 3 million views. I might be wrong, but I think it's gotten like 3 million views. It's gotten a lot of views. So, anyways, guys, that's it. I just kind of wanted to come on here and talk to you guys and see what you thought about this. It's all over. It's trending. People are up in arms. But people are always up in arms, I feel like. I feel like, see, that's why I kind of want to get you guys' opinion on it because I feel like people are always up in arms. But... I also feel like we need to respect, respect the people that paved the way for us. You know, when I think about just the people on the bus, I'm going to say this in closing. When I think about those black people that were on the bus who could not sit down, who got thrown in jail for just sitting down, you know, so a white person could sit down. They got thrown in jail because they were sitting out. And sometimes they were in the black section and they even had to get up if the white section was taken up. They still had to stand up for white people. So this is just, it is really touchy when you think about it because like, damn, you know, I guess it just depends on how you look at it. You know, how you, you know, how you personally feel inside about the things that are people had to go through in the past you know does it mean enough to you to where you feel like they are off limits and I will say this too I feel like other cultures they have a lot more respect for the people of the past that were their like leaders like that or their people that like were you know like paved the way for them or that made change for their communities I feel like they have more respect I really haven't seen other races do things like this and Perhaps it is time that we just, you know, respect them a little more. I mean, damn, without them, where would we be? I mean, think about it. You really have to think about that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and like. Peace.